I'm a criminal. You don't want to mess with us. Have you been seeing whores recently? Well, yeah, I met one in prison. <laughs> uh, I think things are on a very rapid downward spiral. Be don't fall. Boom. Um, if you haven't figured it out, it's over. And I'll probably be somebody on your bed by this weekend. Hey, you guys, I really hope you're enjoying your weekend. It's Sarah, and thank you so much for joining me here today at Reality Squad. I regret to inform you guys that it looks like America's sweethearts, Scott and Lindsay, have decide, decided to go their separate ways. I am shook. I don't know what to do with myself. I had so much faith in this relationship. And of course, I am just kidding. Um, on Friday night's episode of Love, Life After Lockup, rather, um, it seemed to all come to a boiling point, um, almost literally. We see Lindsay trashing Scott's house. Um, they're talking outside. At the end of the episode, she says, and just in case you didn't know, it's over, and I'll probably be fucking another guy in your bed by the end of the weekend or something like that. So I think it's safe to say that this relationship is over. What is wild to me is that this only took place over a, the span of a couple months and they've really been stretching this out. So according to a Soap Dirt article from July, uh, when was this? July 31st of 2020, which was almost six months ago at this point, um, it go, breaks down all of Lindsay's legal troubles that she went through. And I'm going to link it in the show, in the description, in the show notes. Um, but she was released and I, I knew that she got, that she was back in jail, but I didn't realize how quickly all of this went down. It was almost as soon as she got out, she was right back in trouble, quite literally. So she was released from federal prison on May 1st. So that is when we see Scott pick her up from the airport. And if we don't, can't forget the scene where he initially tries to rent a limo, his card gets declined. We're going to touch on his finances again. And he ends up sharing the meal with the limo driver. Then she finally gets out. We're in the middle of the pandemic. And the big concern was Miley Grace. We're going to touch on the fact that we haven't heard anything about her daughter in these most recent episodes as well. But she was released from prison initially on May 1st. She comes home by mid-June. It's reported that the local police in Mississippi had arrested her on serious charges. I think they were drug-related charges. She got out. Then she was arrested again in July. And now she is back behind bars. And I think she's facing several years in prison. Um, she was charged with possession of a controlled substance with intent, possession of a firearm. So this is all the same stuff that she initially spent time in prison for. Um, stolen vehicle, fleeing arrest. Um, so there's really, it's really sad. There, it's not surprising, but it's really sad. And it especially speaks to her behavior. I wanted to talk for a minute about her behavior that we saw, especially in these last couple episodes that have been so erratic. It really had people talking about if she might have been using drugs again. Let's take a look at this clip of her trashing Scott's office and just her erratic behavior. So take a look at this. <laughs> reaction to this instance which really didn't seem she she initially what prompted her to go snooping through Scott's office was the fact that she was upset that Scott was looking through her stuff 
he found her her diary that had the quotes about taking advantage of rich men she um he messaged some of her exes on Facebook and so she felt like that was a real invasion of privacy so she decided to go through his stuff what she found really set her off she found delinquency late bills uh she found out that he didn't actually own the house they were living in and she found that he had utilized the company of sex workers in the past and for some reason this was like the greatest betrayal on earth to her finding out all these things even though she's hiding a secret girlfriend um it was unclear until it was released in later on in this um episode that in fact the book really does exist so while her intentions have not been squeaky clean and pure far be it for scott to also have ulterior motives so she really went for it and trashed his uh office i think this the sign of kind of erratic behavior really made people wonder if she was back abusing drugs and based off of her legal troubles i think i we can probably assume that she was at any rate if she was or if she wasn't her her reaction and her entitlement the way she spoke to her mom she said that the one thing that she promised her mom was that um she wasn't gonna beat scott up so she just carved um fu into his desk um that just speaks to the in insane immaturity of of lindsay it's it's really quite something to behold one thing i found very interesting is when scott claimed that of course he wouldn't just leave all of the evidence of all the money he had for Lindsay to find. Take a look at this clip. Why do you have so many delinquent bills? You're that broke? Not at all. You know my, I Unfortunately, I haven't really found much on the resource side of things. I know much better than to expose resources to you. <laughs> much better. It would be one thing to, I don't know, hide your financials in a locked filing cabinet or something like that because you didn't trust Lindsay. But the way he makes it seem as, is as if he like planted false evidence of being poor or something or not being as wealthy as he made himself out to be. And I think that's total BS. Um, the late bills, the fact that the house is not purchased, I think obviously he oversold how wealthy he was and i think part of what set lindsay off is i think it was clear for her her intentions of what she was going to get out of the relationship with him i think she probably genuinely thought that he was being on it he always put money on her books he was taking care of miley grace she probably did think that he was who he said he was and probably it's not every day that someone pulls a fast one over on Lindsay and I think that really really set her off. Ultimately uh, it makes me really sad because I think of Miley Grace who at least hopefully has a stable living environment with her grandmother but you know it, the big concern at the beginning of love after lockup and the beginning of life after lockup when Lindsay came home was that she had a quarantine so her big priority was getting miley grace then after like a few episodes we never heard about miley grace again um it was all about her girlfriend tara bell it was all about scott and him lying to her so it just ultimately it just makes me feel really bad for her daughter um i didn't really have high hopes for Lindsay, but I did believe that she truly cared for her daughter. But I guess sometimes your demons are bigger, are more powerful than your good intentions. So, and I really don't know how good of intentions Lindsay really had when the whole time it was going to be about moving Terrible onto the property. Um, I think it was pretty obvious that she was scamming Scott. Um, but ultimately, uh, Scott turned out to be a big giant fraud himself. So I don't think there's any losers or victims in this situation besides, unfortunately, Miley Grayson. Uh, like I said, I just really hope her grandmother keeps her far, far away from her mother until Lindsay has the capacity to be clean and be 
she clearly needs some anger management or something because just even if she's not using just acting that way is not a good example for Miley Grace so we'll see what happens because we tv and sharp entertainment only filmed with Lindsay and scott for a couple months there is a rumor in this soap dirt article that was possible we could see some of her legal problems play out on this season of life after lockup so that will be interesting um what do you guys think of the breakup um is anyone devastated or sad or bummed out about it uh, what do you guys think about Lindsay's behavior? What what do you think about Scott's behavior? Um, what do you think about him claiming that he's not an idiot and wouldn't just leave his uh, proof of his wealth around for Lindsay to find? To me, I think that that's totally bullshit. But what do you guys think? Make sure to let me know down in the comments. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, to this channel and like this video, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.